All right, Chief, thank you so much. Colon cancer, the second cause of a bleeding death in South Carolina. Early screening, though, could help. Julia Kaufman tells us more. This is a mass in the left side of the colon. Colon cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths, yet doctors say it's one of the most preventable. Whether it's our lifestyle, whether it's the things we eat, the things that we're exposed to, uh, whether it's genetics, some of that is unknown. Uh, but we know, at least demographically, by the population that we are finding more cancers earlier. That's why gastroenterologist Dr. March Seabrook says people should get a colonoscopy at age 45 instead of the previous recommendation of 50. A good, well-balanced diet, exercise, proper weight, all those things are good in terms of preventing colon cancer. Uh, there's nothing and there's certainly no better test than a colonoscopy. Doctors use colonoscopies to look for cancer-causing polyps. Seabrook is one of many doctors that partners with USC's Colorectal Cancer Prevention Network to provide free screenings. It's really intended for patients who have no symptoms because normally colorectal cancer is actually known to be one of the cancer that shows without symptoms. The network's director, Annie Tabo says if an individual is uninsured and makes less than $34,000 a year, they qualify for the program. My father is a colon cancer survivor, stage 2 colon cancer survivor, and at the age of 32, I had my first screening. I had tubular adenomas, which are adenomas that are known to be precursor to cancer and they were removed. Tebow believes if she didn't get screened when she was younger, she likely would have developed cancer like her dad. And while you may dread the prep for the procedure, it could save your life. Drinking the prep, which is what often people are most scared of and not want to have to do, it is nothing compared to having to go through cancer treatment. To learn how to sign up for a free screening, head to WLTX.com. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Well, that prevention program offers free screenings at over 120 clinics across the state and helps about 900 people a year. New guidelines showing Americans should start colon cancer screenings earlier in life. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force lowered the recommended age for screening from 50 to 45 because of increasing rates of colon cancer in young adults. This means most insurance plans will now have to cover those checks with no copay.